All right, we're live. This is the Kentucky Warriors info session. I am Shay Mullendyke, the director of Yoga Fit for Warriors. This is Mary, one of our senior master trainers for the Warriors program. We are super excited because guess what? We're going to be live in person in Kentucky at the end of April. You know you want to go, and we're going to tell you all about how awesome it is and why you will not want to miss it. So I'm going to open it up with a PowerPoint, and then um, we'll chat about some of the pictures at the end because we've been there before, and we have some fun pictures to share. So let's see. Hopefully the PowerPoint works. I did this kind of hastily, you know how that goes, but we'll see, let's see here. Everybody, uh, Mary, you seeing it? Yep, I can see it. Yeah, everybody out there seeing it, let us know if not, put it in the chat, okay? All right, so this is, isn't this pretty? I know, I'm so proud of it. <laughs> Our 2021 retreat, we had to move it from November um, and now we're headed to um, uh, the end of April. We thought that might be helpful for everybody with COVID, Numbers going down, vaccines are out there. Plus, there's a lot of space there. Um, so, and you know, in two weeks' time, two weeks' time, two months' time, um, we're really uh, hoping that we're going to have just an amazing experience. That being said, we are going to have COVID protocols in place, uh, masking, um, proper distancing, and still be able to have all the fun because there's so much space as you're about to see. So, it's going to be a wonderful experience for those who are just missing the in-person yoga fit experience. You are going to want to be there, and there's so many ways to do it. Even if you've already had all the warriors. It's a special way that you can come anyway. All right, so uh, just to briefly go over the program, um, and the program is um, <laughs> the program is the 140 hour warriors or 100 hour warriors. Now we're not going to offer both of those there. We're actually going to offer four workshops, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, but just in case uh, somebody's coming back to look at this later, you'll have this for review. This is also on the Yoga Fit website. There are four workshops that are required to get your trauma informed yoga certification with Yoga Fit. That is what Yoga Fit for Warriors is. Level one, which is two days, and these are all two days. Uh, yoga Fit for Warriors, PTSD. Yes, it's named the same as the program. Uh, that's an error, but we focus on PTSD um, and polyvagal theory introduction there. And that's also two days. Emotional and physical trauma, where we look at the more broader spectrum of trauma uh, to include um, societal trauma, uh, developmental trauma, uh, the trauma that we're all experiencing right now. And we look at the brain. This is where we look at the uh, traumatic stress response called the HPA axis, um, and also how the brain and body uh, coordinate in response to uh, stressors that they experience. And of course, stress is in the eye of the beholder. So it's appropriate for everyone. Restoring balance, training the parasympathetic. And that is our um, really diving into what we now have is the science that supports what we as yogis or yoga teachers know that yoga works. And how do we know? Because we have this thing called heart rate variability. So this workshop is focused on uh, understanding heart rate variability, learning how to measure it, uh, what it means, um, its importance, and uh, why it's a really good biomarker uh, to kind of witness to and to be a testimony to our practice and see if it's actually working. So it's really great uh, for those who work one-on-one -on -one or in groups working with stress and trauma. Of course, then you have to pick, um, these are these are for two days, those are mandatory. And then you would pick one of these uh, to complete your 100 hour or all three for your 140 hour. Warrior Kids is going to be offered there. And I should go back and say Yoga Fit for Warriors will be offered there. Restoring Balance will be offered in Kentucky. Uh, Warrior Kids will be offered in Kentucky. And that's where we focus on childhood trauma. And Addiction and Recovery is also going to be um, offered in Kentucky. So those are the four workshops. We had to limit it for this time. Uh, we will have a more expanded version of this as uh, we are able to in the future. Uh, the rest of these, by the way, can all be taken um, online, of course, through the end of the year and some offering in person. Then uh, because Warrior Kids is offered there, the two-day workshop, we have a separate certification for those who either work with children um, or for people who work with childhood trauma. And that could be mean you work with adults. And I would say that if you don't think you're working with childhood trauma with adults, you absolutely are. Um, and we are all bearing witness to stressful times bring up the programming that brings up, you know, when the going gets tough, you did something in your childhood to survive. I did, you did, we all did. Understanding that is such an empowering thing. So our yoga practice becomes even more powerful. So Warrior Kids is such a foundational workshop that is being offered in Kentucky that looks at that appropriate right now, of course. Fit and Focus Kids looks at how to integrate um, learning and mindfulness, and my, or I should say mindfulness and movement into the classroom or any kind of learning environment. We look at the Wheel of Awareness, Dr. Dan Siegel's brilliant work, Whole Brain Child is the focus there. So much, so much for everybody to glean from. 
how to make even learning in your yoga classes more effective. ADD and autism and sensory processing disorders, those are on the rise astronomically. As we've seen, they're only going to continue. We need to learn how to integrate, just like we talk about, we need to learn how to be more inclusive, inclusive languaging. Um, you know, if we're not doing that with our adults or our children, understanding these are people right next to you, right? These are not, you know, uh, tucked away anymore. We don't send them off to institutions. We need to integrate them into society um, and learn how to embrace their unique kinds of brains, their creative brains that we need in the world. Of course, emotional and physical trauma, if it looks familiar, yep, it was in our 100 hour, 140 hour, you don't have to retake it. So if you take it once, you can take it again, or you don't have to take it again, it counts. Then you would choose uh, just uh, two of these one day workshops. So that I know might be a little different than uh, the other program, just know these are each one day workshops. You would just choose two of those. Again, all of these are being offered online right now and or in person. That's our um, whole Warrior Kids program much more available on our yoga fit site this is the actual flyer which we have available on our website um i was going to put it in the chat for those but um if you need it please email me warrior at yogafit.com that's w-a-r-r-i-o-r -R -R at yogafit.com this has all the pricing information which we're about to go through in detail so i'm just going to go right to it we're going to start off we're going to start off friday evening 4 p.m and going until sunday at 8 a.m which we when we transition into the intensive with a really nice um, healing retreat. So this is for everybody. If you've been taking Warriors online this whole year, we love you, we miss you, we wanna see you in person. This is an opportunity for you to come together and see these people that you may have only seen through Zoom to come and just do some wonderful healing. So I'll be leading this with a dream workshop, morning yoga. We have archery, horseback riding, labyrinth, meditation, a challenge course, and of course, evening fire pit and fellowship that's going to be amazing. So super, super reasonable, $199 for this retreat. Um, that's only until March 1st, so take advantage of that amazing pricing. By the way, that does not include your lodging costs. Uh, we'll get to that. It's $120 a night. That's for lodging and meals that you have to um, uh, organize, or I should say reserve separately, and we'll have that information. Okay, let's get into it. So this is the intensive um, and what are we are going to offer? We're going to start off Sunday morning when we transition out of the retreat into Warriors. So that's going to be Sunday and Monday, April 25th through 26th. Um, it's all day, but we're going to take breaks to go do fun stuff. So like our, you know, we'll take a morning break and maybe go do some archery. Um, we'll do evening s'mores. Uh, so it's not going to be just a quote normal workshop. Restoring Balance is going to be the next workshop, April 27th through 28th. I'm going to be leading these first two workshops. Then I'm gonna hand the baton over to my lovely BFF, Mary, and she is coming in to lead Addiction and Recovery, April 29th and 30th, and then Warrior Kids to end it May 1st through 2nd. This is the pricing, don't miss out. So early bird regular and late pricing, obviously you would like to hear the early or get the early bird pricing um, bundled pricing is in effect just like our MBF. So really good deals, take advantage of um, any discounts you see online. I know like today, today there's a 25% off any three or more workshops, but um, you know, we have those discounts coming here and there. All right, so lodging and meals. This is more information, again, can be found on the website. You're going to need to email Kathy at the Life Adventure Center um, to reserve, and this is the number to call. That's That 120 rate's a really good deal because it includes your lodging, all your meals, all your activities. That is unbelievable. And you're gonna see why that's unbelievable here in a second. These are the accommodations. Okay, Mary, what do you have to say about the bunkhouse? These well, are the pictures we have. Meals, lots of snacks. So for $120, snacks. and believe it or not, even though it's a bunkhouse and Shay and I were bunkhouse resistant, um, we had, it's actually exceptionally comfortable and cozy and warm and tons of space, tons of space. So even, Pre-COVID, you were not on top of each other. You had at least at least four to six bunks. So, I mean, you're talking twelve feet to your near friend. Oh yeah, and look, it's it's double decker. So what you're not seeing is it's double decker. So you know you can have your own bunk, and then we'll skip a bunk, have another bunk. Um, we put up tarps. I mean, this is before I made it ho homey and comfy. By the way, <laughs> this is before of tarps yeah. <laughs> and and by the second day i learned not to get up quickly in the morning yeah that's what i learned real fast <laughs> so you get scars forget tarps. where you are when you sleep and you're startled awake um sleep on the top bunk that's going to be my recommendation because my noggin my noggin was hurting after the second day uh, but it was awesome and there's um bathrooms on each floor i mean it, it is sparkling clean this is glamping or i promise you mary and i would not do it <laughs> 
No, we, we just went to Mary. <laughs> no, it's lovely. And it is so beautiful. This happened to be snowy. Um, I know we are done with snow. Everybody in this country is. So at the end of April, it's not going to look like this. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be so awesome. We can't wait. Oh, this we, have, we have little camp, a cabins. We don't have pictures of the cabins, but we Oh, no, that's right. So we don't have pictures of it. Mary, why don't you explain those, uh, that another, there's another option to have your own, own space. So the glamping space you saw are also in little mini cabins. Um, my husband and I went, uh, oh my goodness, it was two years ago now. And it, that is amazing. So you have your own little cabin. Some of them can sleep up to like four or five people. Yes, you can bring your significant other. Now they can't attend the training part, but they can eat with you and all of that. So you can email Kathy about that and they can do sightseeing while you're doing yoga fit time, but they can join in the challenge stuff. So yeah, please, um, there's so much more that your, your children and your significant other can come while you're being yoga. They can be being Kentucky as well. And you can have your own little cabin. Okay, Shay. Yeah, no, they are great. They're great. So you, um, we've had people take advantage of that and just had a lovely time. And exploring this beautiful area, um, the bluegrass area of Kentucky is absolutely gorgeous. If you've never been, which I had never been, uh, so I went there and my jaw just dropped at how gorgeous it was. This is the actual place where we're going to practice. Um, it's pretty big. Um, this is the inside space. If we didn't, I didn't have an angle. I don't know why, Mary. We, I know we have a picture of it, but there's a beautiful stone fireplace on the other side of it. No. Kitchen area. I know. I don't know what happened to our pictures, but um, anyway, we're just going to have to imagine it. But just know this is a huge space, as you can see. Um, lots of opportunity to have spaces. You can just put masks on here and uh, we're good to go, right? Um, and this is with the outside of it. Again, it's a huge space. We come out back, have um, s'mores around the fire pit every night. Again, if it's a frozen tundra, um, it's not happening. That's not happening. It's the end of April. It's going to be lovely without the frozen tundra, but lots of good fellowship. All right. And of course, um, activity. So you can get on this. And I am not a horse person. In fact, I, I, I was terrified. I'll be honest. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, how awesome. I'm like, no, I thought I was gonna have a full on panic attack getting on this beautiful creature, but he's big. Um, but it was, it was an amazing experience. I don't even know what to say about that. Mary, what was your experience with it? You know, I mean, I, I've done it every time we've been there and the woman, Lauren, who is amazing. So equine therapy is really what we get to experience. They really explain it. They don't just dump you on a horse. So you actually do little practice barrels. And if you're not comfortable, you don't have to do it, but they really drive home the therapeutic aspect of the horses there. And the beautiful thing is that most of the horses are rescued race horses. So oh, that's I, cool. I, I forgot that. That's so they're repurposed. Is that the term? The repurposed horses. <laughs> yeah, I have a different image that involves glue factory. So let's not. Yeah, so yeah, so these are the they, they're, they're still in one. They're one piece. They're whole horses. Yes, yeah, they rescue so many animals. So these horses that they're using in therapy were um, race horses or could not be race horses. For oh, some reason. that's nice. So that's that's a re this is a rescue operation on top of it. So yeah. happy about it. Yeah, I that still blows my mind that I did that. To be truthful with you. This also blows my mind. So you get to live out your Hunger Games. You know, Katniss, all of us are imagining it. And it was so fun. Um, it is a little harder than you think. I'm just going to be honest with you. I was like, wow, this takes some massive skill. But very quickly, you learn to be pretty good at it. So it's, you know, this, you talk about yoga developing confidence, skill, courage to try new things. Without yoga, I wouldn't have done either of those. I can assure you using your breath, um, your focus, so opportunity to put our skill in action as yoga practitioners. All right, it's daunting, a little intimidating. I'm not sure, let's give it a go, right? All right, and then talk about daunting. Okay, this is optional for those who just had a massive panic attack also looking at this <laughs> obstacle course. Um, and you don't have to, I mean, that's the beauty of it. These are all optional activities, but there is a challenge course or we would call in the military an obstacle course. I love them. I absolutely love them. It's a wonderful team building um, exercise. And again, these are all things that we have the opportunity on this beautiful land to get to go do. And of course, the labyrinth, which is um, where we will end and have a ceremony uh, for each workshop. I'd like to end and do a, a walking meditation there. 
very powerful. Um, a lot of um, transformative moments right here in the middle. So Mary, what would you say about that? Because that's my last slide. I, I, I wanted to keep it short and sweet, not to overwhelm people with stuff, but we have yeah, more. So um, it is absolutely amazing. You can see, I believe I've got this correct, three counties of Kentucky. It's the highest point. And I don't want to give away all the history. Um, there is, um, it was built by a gentleman that was in the military. It is focused on how many in the military, um, well, not focused on, but really when we get up there, we talk about how many of the members that those have served um, have committed suicide. So those stones represent a lot. Um, those stones are from the original site. So I don't want to give it all away. There's, it's just a beautiful story and it's so amazingly spiritual and um, you can use it anytime while you are on site. So you are free to go up there just even for your own healing, um, your own reflection and time alone up there. It's, it's breathtaking. Absolutely. And I didn't mention that there are the bourbon tasting facilities nearby there, the distilleries. Now, we, are, we have many people coming in in the world of recovery. Obviously, these are completely optional, but for significant others or if you want to just come and explore, um, I know that's nearby. And don't they also have a, like a zoo nature park? I didn't get to because it was winter. Kind yeah, of. So there is Beckley. There is another part, a sister site called Beckley, and we can go hiking there as well. So um, that's a whole nother sister site facility that we can go to. Awesome. So much to do right where um, the main campus of LAC is that you feel like you just can't even do it all. Because oh my God, no, you know, that's true. So healing, so, so amazing. I, you know, after what we've all been through this past year, um, I to say I'm looking forward to it is an understatement. <laughs> uh, to be with people, um, to have the opportunity to just come and breathe. Oh, oh, thanks, Crystal. The weekend after May 1st is Derby Day, which is awesome too. Absolutely, how fun. Derby Day, yes, bring that on the Kentucky Derby, fantastic. Also, who do you, where do you fly into, Mary? Um, help me, and because you fly, you can fly right there, just 15 miles away. Fly, yeah, right into Lexington. There's Lexington. not a lot of direct flights, but believe it or not, it is very affordable to fly into Lexington. That's it's a nice little airport. It's really cute. Yeah, really, really tiny. Just want to make your flight not too late at night because um, Ubers can be challenging right now. Ubers are challenging, but Louisville, Southwest goes in and out of Louisville, and that's not too far away, and that's very easy to get to. So Lexington or Louisville. Yeah, I'm already coordinating for those out there who want to reach out to me um, coming in for the retreat. I'm coordinating, um, helping people from the airport. So I'll get a vehicle that's pretty big. If everybody wants to kind of coordinate a time, I think I'm coming in around two, but I have to look. So for those who want to do that, let me know because it's an easy trip back and forth. We can come pick you up. Um, so that's not a requirement to get a, a rental car. We can make that work with, again, Uber or with rides with people. There's some people coming locally. So we'll get you there. If you don't want to rent a car, don't worry. We can make that happen. Um, again, the two airports, the closest one, Lexington would be the first choice if you can. Louisville is about an hour away, isn't it? Hour? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's doable. If you want to rent a car, it's cheaper to go to Louisville. That's your game. Hey, it's awesome. What else? What else should we say? Food. What about the food there? Well, the food is amazing. So the staff usually prepares a lot of the food and they can meet a lot of dietary needs. So yes. just let Kathy know, um, there's a new program director just coming on, but let them know um, there is another separate kitchen that we can't cook in, but if you need to bring in stores, certain foods, yes. and there's even two um, additional showers and bathroom in the main uh, pavilion that we do our trainings in. So it, there are plenty of opportunities to be safe. I know that's, it might be the biggest concern. Um, I know we're, we're going to be focusing on masks, hand sanitizing space. There's windows, airflow. It's all everything. Good. Yeah. So there is plenty of space to move around, but the food, again, if you need um, gluten-free food, um, vegan might be a little challenging. It is Kentucky after all. Um, but we can definitely handle the gluten free and, you know, try, I know they have been outstanding in meeting dietary needs, as well as if you need to bring them things, you can store it on site as well. Small fridge downstairs, but you can do it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we have a local there, one of our yoga fit students, Crystal, why don't you show your face real quick? Can you add anything about the area? I'd like to get the local perspective. There we go. Hey, Crystal, what would you like to brag about the amazing place you live in? You're muted. I need my cup. It's like the number one Zoom issue. It is beautiful. That time of year should be really pretty. Um, it is Derby weekend. So there's all kinds of cool events going on in Louisville. So that's something too to keep in mind if you do choose to fly in. 
um, yeah. people all over the world come in. Might see somebody famous, Ooh. but that time of year should be really pretty. The Warriors training was awesome. Um, that's what I'm going to try to figure out with you two, how I can get over there and at least see you, even if I don't take a full training. Absolutely. Come on over. Yeah. Come on over. We'll do yoga every morning. We'll do extra fun stuff. So. And you said something. The distilleries are great. What did do you what? You said something about your governor. So what's the awesomeness with your governor? Yeah, our, our state is, we're doing, we're actually a commonwealth. Um, we're doing really well COVID wise. Like our county is not even, we went from red to orange. We're now actually in yellow and there's quite a few counties in Kentucky. So um, COVID wise, I, I know the whole country is doing better, yeah. but um, it's definitely improving in um, here. And we've got a lot of vaccines and stuff going out too. So yeah, he, he's done a great job. Awesome. Oh, yay. All right, friends. Well, that's also, um, if you're watching this on the replay, you can always reach out to myself, warrior at yogafit.com. You can go on the yogafit website as well. Go to special events. It's there. You do have to register for the retreat separately from the workshops. Um, again, if you have any problems navigating that or questions, you can also call into our office, 1-888-786-3111 and speak to lovely Heather, who will help you. Um, or I'm also happy to help you. So thank you guys. Thanks, Mary. I cannot wait to see you. I know this has been our, what, our fourth year, our fourth year, year going to LAC. So everyone trust us when we say that this is a magical, magical experience. Um, it unforgettable. Is. Or believe you me, Shay and I would not be going back sleeping in a bunkhouse if it wasn't. No, but the bunkhouse is my favorite that. part. It's like, it's like sleepover camp. We have so much fun and there's a boys and a girl. So you're good, but boys come and no problem. I should say men, men and women. But we're all kind of boys and girls when we go there. It's like going back to camp. It, is, it really is. A safe yeah. camp. A good safe, safe camping. camping. Safe camping. All yeah. right. Thanks, Mary. Thanks Bye, for everyone. Hope to see you. Hope to yes. see you there. Hope to see you guys there. All right. Thank Bye. you, Shay. Bye, Crystal. Bye, Crystal. Thanks, sweetie.